Welcome to Earth 2014, situated alongside the B1 road between Simebasia and Klein Coupe residential areas. By 7 o'clock this morning, four young people led by youth activist and Swapo Party Secretary for Information and Mobilization Job Ampanda were already hard at work clearing the land where Ampanda is expected to set up his two-bedroom shack next weekend. Ampanda says he had applied for a plot from the city of Vinduk two years ago and has been referred from one office to another and so far there is no sign that his application will be approved. He says he pays close to $8,000 every month on rent and the wait has been frustrating as he's about to start a family. I'm getting old. I'm going to start a family. I can't imagine a situation where my children will see me renting in my own country. It can't be. So, in fact, there's no such thing as land grabbing. It's affirmative repositioning. George Kambala is one of the frustrated young Namibians who came to help out Ampanda in clearing his plot in Klein Kupe. We want land because I, we cannot be renting for 20 years. I also want to have my own piece of land I can call my own. I want to build the house with my family. When the news broke out on social media this morning, a lot of young people have been calling, commending Ampanda and want to join him in his illegal exercise of land grab. But Ampanda says he is not interested in group action, describing his action as legitimate caused by the frustrating bureaucracy of the Vinduk City Council. This week, the Swapo Party Secretary General warned against illegal land grabbing, but also warned the Vinduk City Council to avoid demolishing people's shacks that were erected illegally. Over the years, Swapo Party has distinguished itself as a democratic organization which fought for the establishment of the rule of law and respect of human dignity against all odds. I urge all Namibians without land to follow proper procedures to acquire land through established mechanism. Donatini Shidudu, NBC News, Vinduk.